Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts, I'm Scott. These are the inverts, if you're new, remember to hit that subscription button and get your notifications turned to on. From now on, we're doing videos through the week and shorts at the weekend. So today we're looking at the golden tree frog, the common tree frog, the striped tree frog, scientifically known as the polypedates Luca mustix. And they are absolutely stunning. They actually come from um, tropical Asia, ranging from India all the way to the Philippines. And they're of least concern when we're looking at endangered species. So what that means for us as keepers is they're pretty cheap in the hobby. In fact, we only paid, I think it was £22 each for these guys. We've got two of them. They're absolutely stunning. Now, the reason this one isn't going to be a care video, but I will give you a little bit of information like I just have, is because I just have not cut these long enough. I've only kept them for several months. And in my opinion, that's not long enough for me to stand here and give you a care video. So what we will do is take a look at the footage we've got of these absolute little stunners. Boom, so what did you think to those tree frogs? They're absolutely stunning. The funny story behind getting them is when we got married back in August, um, the stag do, I decided to go over to Shirley Aquatics um, and that's what the stag do, stag do did. So we went to Shirley Aquatics in the day, went around there, seen these guys and thought, oh my God, we'll get those. And that's what we did. Um, that was back in the uh, beginning of August. So that's another reason, because I haven't kept these guys long enough, so I don't feel confident enough to give you guys a care video. And I'm certainly not just gonna video them and reel off a load of stuff from Google. Um, I'd rather have the knowledge and the experience myself. Do you know what I mean? But going back to that, if you can think of anything to change in that tank, if you keep these guys at home, um, maybe, I don't know, larger water dish, I don't know. You, you tell me what you think are best for these guys. and uh, We can certainly look at changing those as well. But, Oh, I absolutely love them. I do think they're both females because they're both pretty big and apparently the males are only like half that size. So fingers crossed in the future we can find a male, put a male in there and hopefully get those breeding. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. And if you've made it this far, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to support the channel even further, become a channel member. My God, those guys are awesome. Anyway, thank you so, so much. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.